Hey friends, welcome to my channel and first of all, I would like to thank you because uh, of this uh, 500 subscribers in this channel. So I'm very happy for this and I think I hope that more subscribers uh, will connect with me. And on the on the event of this 500 subscriber, I am presenting this interesting reaction for you. So you can see this is the molecule. This is a macrocyclic type molecule where you have an amine group and two carbonyl groups. And here you have this catalytic HCl. So you, you are giving only catalytic HCl. So what will be the product? Okay. So before uh, doing this reaction, I, I, I one thing I want to tell is that it is not from any previous year CSI exam, but uh, this type of question they can ask any time. So I am discussing this problem because this is a new uh, problem to me and that's why I am sharing with you. So now let's go to the reaction. So you can see this is the molecule uh, you are given with and uh, it is treated with HCl so what will be the product so you can see this is the product so you can see this is the beautiful product of this beautiful reaction now the question is that what is happening so you can see this is a big molecule and there are two carbonyl groups and one amine group and catalytic uh, HCl is given in this reaction so Whenever you have carbonyl group and amine in your reaction, one reaction you should always think about is the condensation reaction. What's mean by condensation reaction? That the nitrogen will attack on this carbonyl group and it will form imine. Now there are two carbonyl groups. So which carbonyl group it will attack? Now you can see if you number 1, 2, 3, 4. So distance between these two centers are 4 carbon atom. So it will form a four member ring when it will attack here, but when it will attack on the other carbon atom, you can see if this nitrogen attack here, you will get one, two, three, four, five, six. You will get a six member ring and you know that if you uh, consider the kinetics of ring formation, five member ring is faster, then you have, uh, sorry, then you have six member ring then three member ring and then four member ring so in this case between these two choice that either five four membered or six member it will always go for six member ring formation and uh, that means it will attack here and now one another important thing is that you have catalytic hcl in your medium but if you protonate it first and show this reaction like this this nitrogen lone pair is attacking on this protonated uh, carbonyl group it is actually not correct because this attack doesn't need any protonation this nitrogen is nucleophilic enough that it can attack on this free carbonyl group and if you use more hcl to promote this reaction if you think that uh, protonation on this will help the reaction you are actually wrong because that hcl will, will protonate this nitrogen instead and make it tetracoordinated then the lone pair will not be free so it is that's why it is used in the catalytic uh, HCl condition and what is the use of HCl that is that will be clear in a moment so first it will attack on this uh, normal uh, free carbonyl group so you will have a bond here so it will attack here so okay I will show like this it will attack here and it will form a six member ring now you will have a six member ring here so you can see here you will have OH actually O minus uh, and uh, up uh, here you can see you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 so you have a 9 member ring so this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 okay so let me uh, check once 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 so it is 8 actually it will be like this so now this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so now it is uh, 9 member ring and you can see there is another carbonyl group so it is 1 2 3 position so it is 1 2 3 position here it will be there okay now you have HCl in your uh, medium so it will just protonate it to form this OH and then again another molecule of H plus can come to form H2O 
now you can see this nitrogen lone pair can push here and it will go as H2O so out of that what you will get you will get this imine and here you will have this positive charge okay so this is the role of HCl that it uh, facil facilitates this uh, dehydration step now whenever you you have this type of imine you will immediately remember the manic reaction because in your manic reaction what happens you have a secondary amine and that attack on your formaldehyde to form a same type of imine so there you have imine where uh, this nitrogen have a positive charge and it doesn't have any hydrogen that can lose to form a stable uh, neutral imine so it will always be positively charged now what is more important is that this imine is here and in, in your manic reaction what happens you have another molecule of ketone or aldehyde and that undergoes enolization so from enolization you will get this enol and that enol will attack here to introduce a NME2 group so you can think a same type of reaction here because you can see in this so in this case the difference is that all the reactions is intramolecular the secondary amine is your, your in your molecule the first carbonyl group is in your molecule and in fact the second carbonyl group which will, which will give the enol part that is also present in the molecule now you have two position for enolization that is either the enolization can happen from this side or from this side but you can again uh, see that if the enolization can or uh, have enolization happens from this side you will have one two three four four member ring but if enolization uh, happens from this side you will have one two three four five six so six member ring and in this side one two three four five five member ring so one five member ring and one six member ring so this is much more favorable situation than forming a four member ring so that's why in your acid medium the enolization will happen and why this enolization is occurring because uh, this enol can attack here uh, you don't need enol it this weak nucleophilic enol can attack here so now this oxygen lone pair will push and it will attack here this uh, bond will go here and you will get so this is your Six member ring you can see and now you can see it's another six member ring one two three four five six another six member ring is forming here okay and in this case a five member ring one two three four five so a five member ring is also forming here so this is five member ring and you will have a carbonyl group so where is the carbonyl group uh, this is one two three so at your three position here you will have a carbonyl group right so this is a very important reaction you can see this is a very interesting reaction also so from this uh, big molecule this uh, uh, simple molecule you can get this complicated structure and if you don't uh, look into the structure carefully you cannot predict what is actually happening in this reaction so uh, i think uh, this reaction you will like and uh, if you like the video then give thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.